Hi everybody, I'm finally back again. I'm down to one small sling and hopefully that's gonna be off really soon. I'm telling you this old age thing, I'm getting real tired of it. Anyway, I'm here to talk about my opal leg bars. They're here in the background, I'm not sure. I'll get some videos, better videos of them later. But they are now, they are now nine weeks old, nine weeks old already. So I'm really loving them. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. I cannot wait for them to start laying. Um, I'll, I'll uh, be sure to post some videos of them up close and some pictures and and all that good stuff. But I did want to talk to you about one thing today and that's coccidiosis. Um, it's something that we all deal with at one point or another. Uh, I deal with it pretty much yearly. Um, and it's not that I don't keep my pens clean or any of those things. It's just coccidiosis is in the ground. It's in the wild birds. It's, it's everywhere. Once they hit adulthood, you don't really have to worry about it. Um, but, uh, as I suspected and as I was watching for, uh, we did have a few signs of it show up in the flock. Okie dokie, so what the heck is coccidiosis? Uh, coccidiosis has been around forever. Um, it's one of the most prominent poultry diseases that there is out there. Uh, it is easily treatable and uh, if you watch for the signs for it, you can jump on it pretty quickly. These chicks uh, were prime candidates for getting coccidiosis, and they did. Um, it's the right time of year, it's raining a lot, they're the right age, um, and I had just taken them from their brooder and put them on the ground. So all those things are just the perfect storm of your flock coming down with coccidiosis. And the signs to look for are just, if you know your flock, and I'm sure a lot of you do, um, you can tell they're, they just look a bit off. Um, they, their feathers will be fluffed. Uh, they'll be kind of standing off from the others, maybe hunched. Um, you might see some blood in their feces. And when you're cleaning your coop and you see blood, you can pretty, be pretty sure that you've got coccidiosis in your flock. I'll talk to your veterinarian, but when I see that, uh, I immediately treat for coccidiosis. So I did. And as I said, if you want to know what treatment I use, what products I use, what my course of action is, I'm happy to let you know. Uh, just send me a, a, just put it in the comments and, and I'll answer you there. So I noticed that, that my flock um, indeed had picked it up and so I did treat them. They bounced back quickly. It's a five day treatment. They bounce back very quickly and they're doing very, very well. I don't treat for mild signs. But once it gets towards moderate, I do treat uh, some people um, use medicated feed um, with their chicks. One thing I wanted to say when I talk about medicated feed, that doesn't mean antibiotics. it's a coccidiostat which stops the coccidia from reproducing and that's what you're trying to do and I am not for or against medicated feed I'm not for or against unmedicated feed um, I don't use it but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't um, it's just something that uh, I 
I don't use it until I need to use it and then I treat it as needed. So I keep um, medication on hand. I treat when I need to treat them. Um, don't always have to treat them. Sometimes it's just a mild case and that's great. They're building up their resistance to it and that's what you want them to do. But once it hits the moderate stage, I start um, treating on the lowest dose and that generally uh, works for me. So hopefully that helps you. If you want more information about how I treat my birds and what with, um, you're welcome to just contact me and I'm happy to share what I do. But once again, you wanna talk to your vet before you do anything. I'm not a veterinarian. I'm just an old fat chicken farmer talking to you right now. So, but if you wanna contact me and ask me what I use and what I do, I'm, I'm happy to share that information with you. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you uh, the opal leg bars. They're doing so awesome, probably more awesome than I am. I am on the end of my rotator cuff surgery debacle, <laughs> uh, down to the last sling, and pretty soon I'll be able to um, actually do more again. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of these gorgeous opal leg bars. Okie dokie.